Dear students, in this class we are going to discuss one of the most important topic in heat. A lab, only one lab activity we have. Chances to get an examination is maximum. How do you find out a specific heat of a solid experimentally? First of all, what do you mean by specific heat? The amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of a substance by 1 degree Celsius is called specific heat. Actually, focus here. Q equals to ms delta t is the equation of heat. Now, Q equals to m by delta t is the equation of specific heat. In this class, we are going to find out specific heat. When we are doing any lab activity, the thing we have to do is, we have to find out what is the aim, what are the operators required or materials required, what is the procedure, then table and column, then graph, finally result. After getting the result only, any lab activity will be completed. Now, in this class, we are going to perform a lab activity regarding specific heat of a solid experimentally by using calorimeter. In to find out specific heat of a solid experimentally by using calorimeter. Apparatus, what are the apparatus required? We require one calorimeter, we require one stirrer, we require water, we require lead shots. These are the apparatus which are required right now. Procedure on the day of experiment, try to take a calorimeter along with a stirrer, find out the mass of calorimeter. The mass of calorimeter is M1. Then, after, after taking the calorimeter along with the stirrer, fill the calorimeter along with the stirrer, one third of the volume with water. After filling one third of volume with water, then the mass is M2. Now, if you want to find out only the mass of water is M2 minus M1. After adding water, then find out the temperature. The temperature of calorimeter, temperature of calorimeter and the water is T1. And the mass of calorimeter is M1. So, these are the things about this. Then keep this one aside. Then take lead shots and heat it up to 100 degrees Celsius in a steam heater. After heating lead shots, the temperature of lead shots, heat the lead shots up to 100 degrees Celsius. The initial temperature of lead shots is T2. Now, now quickly transfer the content of lead shots into the calorimeter with some loss of heat. Then, then the mass, then the mass of calorimeter water and lead shots is M3. If you want to find out only the mass of lead shots, only the mass of lead shots is M3 minus M2. Please focus. Only the mass of lead shots is M3 minus M2. Now, if you want to find out the temperature, the temperature of lead shots is T2 minus T3. Because why we are saying T2? Initially, when we have heated lead shots, the maximum temperature is T2. When we transfer the lead shots into the calorimeter and water, the temperature is T3. Always the maximum temperature is, the resultant temperature is maximum temperature minus minimum temperature. The maximum temperature is T2. The minimum temperature is T3. So T2 minus T3 is the final temperature for lead shots. Let us find out the final temperature of water and calorimeter. The final temperature of calorimeter is the highest temperature is T3. When the lead shots transferred to the calorimeter, final temperature is T3. And initial temperature of calorimeter and water is T1, T3 minus T1. And what about water? Final temperature of water is same, T3 minus T1. In that way, you want to find out. And now, my dear students, let me tell you, calorimeter is a device which is used to measure the heat. And calorimetry principle is no, no heat loss or no heat gain. Let heat loss by a hot body is equal to heat gain by a cold body. This is one of the important principles that was measured in, that was maintained by calorimeter. And that comes as a calorimetry. Now we will find out, we will find out the specific heat of a solid. No doubt. Let the specific heat of calorimeter is SC, the specific heat, the specific heat of calorimeter is SC. The specific heat of water is 
SW, the specific heat of lead shots is SL. Now, my dear students, we have a concept heat last by heat last by hot body is equal to heat gain by cold body. Here, what is the hot body? Lead shots are a hot body. What are the cold, bo cold bodies? Calorimeter and what are cold bodies? Now, lead shots. We have a formula regarding heat. Q equals to ms delta T. What is the M of lead shots? M3 minus M2. S of lead shots? SL. Temperature of lead shots? T2 minus T2. Replace the value. M3 minus M2 into SL into T2 minus T2 is focused. Then heat gained by a cold body. What about the calorimeter? Calorimeter Q equal to MS delta T QC. Calorimeter heat is M is M1, S is SC, temperature is T3 minus T1. M1, SC, T3 minus T1. Plus what about water? Water is M2 minus M1, SW, T3 minus T1. M2 minus M1, SW, T3 minus T1. If you want to get only the specific heat of lead shots, transfer this product. If the product is transferred from, le from left side to right side, it will become uh, like uh, divided by. Hence, we get SL equals to M1, S, T3 minus T1 plus M2 minus M1, SW, T3 minus T1 by M3 minus M2 into T2 minus T3. Hence, we find out the specific heat of a solid experimentally.